Over the past year, there has been so much talk of which Resident Evil game is going to be remade next. And we've seen Resident Evil 4 get remade, and there's so much talk on how Resident Evil 5 is about to be remade, especially hinting the ending of separate ways. However, even before Resident Evil 4 remake became a thing, I was saying there is no clear answer other than Resident Evil Code Veronica that needs to get remade. And I'm surprised I haven't heard any other Resident Evil YouTuber bring this point up, but the number one reason Resident Evil Code Veronica needs to get remade is there is a game-breaking mechanic which will prevent you from beating the game if you're not aware of it. Is Claire and Chris both share the same item box. So let me break down the situation. I'm at the final boss and all I have is 14 shotgun shots and 61 handgun shots and a knife. You best believe your sweet ass that that is not enough weaponry for this behemoth of an ugly ass bug. Now the problem resides because Claire actually is holding all my power weapons. At this point in the game, I cannot switch to Claire to drop my power weapons into the item box so Chris can pick them up from the item box and use them to beat the final boss. How did the devs not pick up on this? <laughs> I finally reached the final boss of the game and it's got me like... What the fuck y'all got? Damn! God damn! And in the newer Resident Evil games, I beat bosses with just the knife only. However, for Alessia, that shit is impossible. She's throwing attacks from all sorts of directions. Claire is holding my grenade launcher with all my different grenade shots. She's holding the crossbow with explosive tips. She's holding the assault rifle. Claire, I need my shit, girl. Furthermore, there's issues with obtaining all the weapons in this game, too, because they're scripted areas where you play as either Chris or Claire. And you would have to drop a certain item into the item box with one character, and then when you switch to the other one, which is scripted, then you'll be able to switch to the other character, pick that item out of the item box. Then you'll be able to put that key item piece into whatever puzzle piece to give you the item or piece you need to make a weapon. Or get the weapon. And by the time you realize this, you might have already well been past that section to even do that, which happened to me. That portion is not really what's bugging me, but my main gripe is the fact that I can't switch to Claire just to drop my items and give them to Chris for the final boss. Now this game did come out in February 2000, which is might be why something like this item box issue happened and got overlooked. You wouldn't really know about this issue either unless you referenced the guide when you played the game ahead of time. And if you're like your boy and you got into Resident Evil along when Resident Evil 4 came out on the Wii and then you started venturing into the classic games, Resident Evil Code Veronica is definitely my favorite retro Resident Evil. I play Resident Evil 1, I play Resident Evil 0. There is so much potential for Resident Evil Code Veronica if they remade it. However, this item box thing is stupid. And it hinders newer Resident Evil fans from going back to classic Resident Evils and enjoying them. So there is no more clear answer than Resident Evil Code Veronica needs to get remade, but it seems like we're going to get a remake of 5 first. And I don't want to see them comments talking about some, well now you know what to do on your second playthrough. I might not have time for a second playthrough because my backlog of games to play is immaculate. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, catch you on the next video.